Welcome to 5 Minutes with Alex for June 6. Lots to cover, so let's go. On the mortgage rate front, overall, we've seen rates ease up a little bit since the start of June with some weaker economic data. This morning was interesting with the European Central Bank cutting rates, possibly a sign for things to come. We'll see, but it's going to depend upon the jobs reports moving forward. The BLS jobs report comes out tomorrow, the 7th. We'll see how that goes. From a program standpoint, we just announced a new round of funding for a $10,000 grant, specifically for homeowners purchasing who earn between 80 to 100% of the area median income. Now, this money is going to go extremely fast. This is different from the FHLB grant from er earlier in the year. That was restricted to people who earned 80% or less of the area median income. So, for example, a two-person household under this new program here in Frederick County, that means that as long as you earn between $99,040 and $148,560, you're going to qualify, assuming all the other things are uh, in line with the program. So, more people are going to qualify for this grant. So, you have a, if you have anybody who wants to see if they do qualify, they need to reach out to me as soon as possible. I do not expect for this to last long. When the funds are gone, they're gone. I want to also share a way to get some more wins in this market, some strategies that I'm utilizing. The first is appraisal waivers. Obviously, if you can waive an appraisal, that's going to give you an edge over other offers. But how do you know when you're going to get one? Appraisal, appraisal waivers are for conventional loans only, and we're typically seeing them with 20% or more on the down payment. The only way to really know for sure whether you're going to get a waiver is for the loan officer to run this through Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac system. Now, not every lender is going to be willing to do this. Why? Because this starts a three-day clock where they need to disclose that loan application. This creates more paperwork for that loan officer. My opinion is that it's well worth the 20 minutes of clerical work on my end to see if your client can get an appraisal waiver before you present your offer. The last four or five offers that I've won is because I took the time, ran in to see if we could get the appraisal waiver. And when we did, I could come in with that offer and say, we don't need the appraisal. So if your client's putting 20% or more down, make sure that the loan officer is running this prior to you making that offer. This can really make a difference on whether your offer get, gets accepted or not. The second is bridge loans. Yes, you heard me correctly. I have an outlet for bridge loans, but before you go out, start notifying all your past database. I want you to understand that a bridge loan is not for everybody. There are pros and cons. Now, obviously this is for someone who needs to eliminate their current mortgage payment and they're definitely going to be selling within the next six months. That's really important. The bridge loan is going to require that they sell that home and they need to have a significant amount of equity in order for it to make sense. The third way I'm getting some wins is by having clients fully underwritten. And honestly, it blows my mind when people don't take advantage of this option. No buyer should be without this important advantage. So share with me, how are you getting wins? How can I help you? Uh, in the meantime, I hope you have a great week. And if you have anyone who you, who you know who can use me, they can reach out to me or visit me at homeloanswithalex.com.